will now uh, receive goodwill messages from friends and well wishers. The Commissioner for Education, please, you may wish to say something to Godfrey Kuhn University. The Vice Chancellor, Godfrey Okoye University, the management and staff of Godfrey Okoye University, distinguished guests, our matriculating students. I have to start by thanking Godfrey Okoye University for always honoring us by making us part of whatever activities they are engaging in. I thank Godfrey Okoye University for keeping the flag flying. The vision which Godfrey Okoye University pursues aligns with the vision of the state government. Godfrey Okoye is making efforts to ensure that they produce those who will actually help in transforming the nation by exposing their students to different skills which will enable them not just to seek for employment, but to be employers of uh, labor. This is what government at all level are working to us because developing the human capital has been known to be the greatest thing a nation should uh, pursue. With the right human capital, development is uh, assured. Well, as I congratulate Godfrey Kohle University for their efforts in the education industry, let me specially congratulate the incoming students. This is a world of opportunity. We have listened to the Vice Chancellor. We have listened to all the programs Godfrey Okoye is offering. And these are things that will enable you to succeed in life. And as the uh, Vice Chancellor emphasized, discipline is the only thing that, take us, that can take us to our goal. Anyone that is disciplined will definitely, in addition to working hard, achieve proposed uh, goals. As a state, we will continue to work together with uh, Godfrey Okoye University because their efforts, in their efforts, they are helping to solve the problem of uh, government. They are contributing to our solutions to the problems uh, we have. That is producing individuals who will be productive and who will be independent. Because if you produce individuals that are always dependent, then the nation cannot uh, move. Godfrey Okoye has made wonderful contribution to our states in terms of the education sector, the economy, and other areas. And um, we plead that you continue in this direction because at the end of the day, all of us will be better for it. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, Honorable Commissioner. Now I invite a representative of the Board of Trustees of Godfrey Koe University to deliver his goodwill message. Professor Shidobem, please. The Vice Chancellor of Godfrey Koe University, the Honorable Commissioner of Education, Principal Office of the University, guests and directors, the 
needed past chief judge of Ananda State, Honorable Justice Amadi, I think to expand an existing protocol. I want to join the Vice Chancellor in thanking God for his blessings on God Yokoye University since its inception. He has, in the course of his address, enumerated a few of these lessons and as he clearly indicated the tense matriculation and the 10th year anniversary of the university was the icing of the cake for that people and those who took part in that will have to the enormous progress and development that has taken place. This is not possible if we don't have a dedicated leadership, a dedicated workforce, committed men and women who have continued to make selfless sacrifice and brought and continue to bring their wealth of knowledge and experience to bear on the progress of the university. The Vice Chancellor said that he was convinced, or that he is convinced, that West Virginia will now fly at a net breaking speed to the next decade. You can confirm this when you take a look at your handbook and see the quality of staff that are mem members of the academic, administrative, and non teaching staff. You have an assemblage of eminent scholars who have made their mark in various fields of endeavor, the academia, industry, society, and whatever is there as partakers and drivers of this process. We cannot but ensure that this temple, that this confidence, that this success is not taken for granted. And therefore, we are certain that by the grace of God, we will succeed. This is a university that gives ample opportunity for parents and staff and students to interact in a mutually beneficial way to ensure the success of the students. Here we have a very functional and vibrant parent forum. And the chairman is here. And the members are here. Here we have a student council of honor that is known to represent the best you can expect from students. I join the Vice Chancellor in encouraging the parents to always cooperate with the university in this very happy task of making our students come out better than they came in here. For the students, I congratulate you. You have been given the master key for success. As the Vice Chancellor said, prayer, 
hard work and discipline. You can be sure that you have the, your interests at the very heart of the staff and students. And when you keep your own part of this contract, surely you will come out the best. Finally, I want to thank all those who have come here and pray that God will continue to bless all of us as we, with prayer and trust in God, continue to discharge our obligations to humanity and the students in particular. Thank you very much. To deliver his own goodwill message, this time, Peter Amba. Permit me, please, to ride on the existing protocols. I um, want to congratulate the VC of Godfrey Okoye University, the members and the staff, for a day like this. This is uh, indeed a day that the Lord has made, and we're glad in it. I also want to congratulate the students that are matriculating today. Indeed, I have um, a few comments to make. I have been, I was part of the convocation, the 10th anniversary of the university last year. And I was also there when the VC enumerated on the achievement of this university. So I think the students, those that are matriculating today, you are indeed very lucky to be here. You are lucky to be here because this is one university that is not just interested in your competence, on the skills that you're going to live here four or five years from now with. But it's also a university that is interested in the character and the formation of you four or five years from now. So you're going to be asking yourself, as I get matriculated today and as I carry on my journey for the next four or five years, where do I want to see myself four or five years from now? You are going to have everything available to you here. You're going to have the best, as the representative of the Board of Trustee member has said, you're going to have everything available to you. You have the highest quality of staff to prepare you for the world out there. So you need to take that and run with it. You need to know from day one that your destiny, indeed, how you perform four years from now, five years from now, is strictly in your hand. You need to study very hard. You need to make sure that you have structured yourself in such a manner that you have no time for frivolity. You're going to focus essentially on your studies and ensure that four years from now, you're not only equipped with the right skills, but also you're well formed. So once again, I want to thank you and congratulate you all for your matriculation today and also congratulate the VC for this, uh, this occasion today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Peter Mba, for that. Uh, I now call on a representative of the Chief Judge of Enugu State, Honorable Justice C.A. Ubuabo, to deliver his goodwill message. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir. Um, principal officers of the university, members of the governing council, may I stand on all established protocols. 
I bring you felicitations from the Honorable the Chief Judge of Enugu State, Honorable Justice MP Emehalo, who is unavoidably absent because uh, she's also involved in another state function today. The Enugu State Judiciary is part and parcel of Godfrey Okoye University and will continue to partner with you in the formation of our students. The Honorable Chief Judge has asked me to extend her warm felicitations and to assure you that Enugu State Judiciary will continue to do her bit in whatever way it can to help this university achieve the purposes it wants to achieve. For our matriculating students, my admonition this morning is that you have made a pledge, an oath, and I would like you to go home and go and digest the pledge that you have made this morning and digest the address of the Vice Chancellor. In that address and the pledge, you will find everything you need to traverse this uh, terrain successfully and come out as best as you can. Once again, Mr. Vice Chancellor, accept our felicitations and congratulations on this particular matriculation ceremony. Thank you. Thank you very much, our Augustus Philip Umadi, to drop in a word or two to this university on this occasion. I will justice, please. The Vice Chancellor of Godfrey Okoye University, all other protocols observed. This is a great day for the matriculating students in a private university that has a lot to defend. In a private university that has much to offer. I've heard now that along the line, the president of Austria, Prime Minister of Austria will be here to perform a function in the university. I've also heard here the responsibilities that have been piled on the shoulders of your Vice Chancellor in promoting university education from Nigeria to the rest of West Africa in meeting the rest of the world. You have all it takes to excel and when you're matriculating, this is your dividing line between your efforts in the other schools you have attended and the university. The university is a place where you leave home and you come to live as an adult and then you begin to put on yourself and you have been told and I verify that, that what can take you there quicker is discipline. And the Vice Chancellor has enumerated those tenets of discipline. Sometimes in a paper I delivered to students of Christ the King College a long time ago, I took it up in this same way because you may be asking what is discipline? Discipline, if I use one line, is getting up and being on time to school when we have spent all the night, previous nights swatting and getting ready for a test. That is discipline. Discipline is getting up irrespective of the, uh, 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 you know, the inconveniences 
that you may face to go and face the other one that needs you to be there without excuses. In other words, when you want to grow and when you want to be disciplined, you don't offer excuses of any kind. I congratulate Godfrey Okoye University and the bold steps he's taken and we will continue to come here. In fact, I have a close relationship with the Faculty of Law, courtesy of the Professor of Law, uh, Professor Bolo. And we have my own uh, little effort to give him uh, to see the university where they want to be. On this note, I congratulate you, the students especially, and like we have had here severally, uh, we want to see you turn out as we expect in four or five years time. And to your parents, also I urge you to join the university in watching our students to make sure they get to the point where we all will be happy with their progress. Thank you very much. Uh, this university has a parents forum, and that parents forum has a chairman in the name of Chief Bad Okafo. Mine, I invite him to make his own goodwill message. Chief Okafo, please. My very respected Vice Chancellor, let me, for want of time, rest on all existing protocols. I want that the new students, the new matriculated students, and their parents who have chosen this university for their child's education, they could not have made a better choice. In this university, one thing is clear, discipline is the key. Ability to pray and ability to read. If you miss any of them, you've lost. And over here again, the university has its rules and regulations. And these rules and regulations are for very strict compliance. You break them, there are consequences. I will also now address the, mem the members, the fat parents of these children, who are now are our newest members. The Parents Forum is the body that, you know, of, uh, more than all the parents of this university. If you are a child in this university, then you are our member. These people now coming are our newest members. You will help us to develop this university. The Parents Forum of this university is very vibrant, and we invite you to be part of it. We also have a very functional scholarship program of this university. In this university, no child will drop out of school only because the children have, the, the children have, have problems, have family problems, or lost of job, or loss of parents. We will make sure you graduate once you enter. Thank you very much. Thank you, the Chairman of Parents Forum, and distinguished ladies and gentlemen. There's no way we can end these goodwill messages without hearing from the students themselves. So we call, it, we call up a representative of the matriculated students to come and say something to us. Let us hear how you feel about what is happening here today. Please come, come forward, please. Uh, protocol. My name is Nda Jonathan Silva. And Sir. Um, my name is Nda Jonathan Siobong, as I've earlier stated, and I'm here to give an elocution for matriculation and speak about the story of coming to Godfrey Okoye University, being in Godfrey Okoye University, and most importantly, falling in love with Godfrey Okoye University. Um, Initially, I was very afraid to come to Godfrey Okoye University, I will not lie to you. 
Um, this is a place where I was supposed to exchange four years of my life. In exchange for comfort, support and security in the future, whatever I would do in this place would determine who I was in the future. And it was a matter of great importance to me. So I was very scared. But there's this thing about fear. Fear is only as deep as you allow your mind to perceive it. Coming to Godfrey Okoye University, my attraction for Godfrey Okoye University was instantaneous because, let's be honest with you, everybody, those who have already been here, you can't lie, you love this place. You may pretend, you may act like you don't like it, but deep down you know that this is the place where you're meant to be. This place has amazing programs, it's well affiliated with amazing people. This is the place where I met my first German. It's a bragging right. For you to go outside and say you know foreigners, you know people, you are someone. Without even graduation or convocation, you are already someone. That's the kind of place Gofu Okoye is. Gofu Okoye doesn't just go the extra mile, Gofu Okoye is the extra mile. <laughs> One other thing I love about Gofu Okoye University is the beauty of the intercultural nature of things here. Coming from a Ibom and being an Ibom boy, I was very skeptical of coming all the way down here. I was wondering what would, what would my life be like? I do not know anybody here, I've never been here, I do not speak the language. And let's, let's be honest with ourselves, we know that this is a country where tribalism is still very prevalent. And it's very easy to see people put their people above you just because you're not from their place. But I haven't found that here. I remember on the 3rd of October, the first day I came inside Godfrey Okoye University, the 3rd of October, I walked in the place and it felt like home instantaneously. I turned to my mom and said, Mommy, this is where I should be. Mommy, you can go. Mommy, this is home. This is where I'm meant to be. Now, most importantly, most importantly, I don't have, I don't have any friends in Godfrey Okoye University at all. What I have are brothers, sisters, fathers, mentors. That's what I have found here in Godfrey Okoye University. I have been able to meet people who got across different strata of life. This is an amazing place. I, it, if you fail to see the beauty in what we have here, then you are blind. The problem is not us, the problem is not the VC, the problem is you. Fix yourself. Fix yourself, know what is wrong with you. And finally, to my fellow matriculating students, like my father used to say, everything that needs to be said has been said, everything that needs to be done has already been done. It's either you were not paying attention or you choose to ignore the signs. This is an opportunity for us to grow, to become who we are meant to be. This is an opportunity for us to show who we really are. It doesn't care where you come from. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter what you have done in your past. This is a new page, a new chapter, a new life. You have spiritual guides, you have temporal guides, you have mentors. You have people who are ready to be there for you. So if you have everything, what else do you seek? Be who you are supposed to be. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. No procrastination in being amazing. This is the time. The time is now. And like the Bible says in Isaiah 60 verse 1, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, okay, please go have a handshake. We want to quickly recognize and welcome in our midst, Dr. Ben Moye, the APC chairman in the state. Welcome, sir. And we'd like to also welcome the vice chancellor of Tansian University, Professor Eugene Wadiala, you can say our own Professor Eugene Wadiala. Please put your hands together for him. We have a program here and they do the interesting for you to know. Perish. The best graduate, uh, the best student in an academic year, from 100 level to 400 level, will be crowned Vice Chancellor for one day. That means this particular person will sit in the office of the Vice Chancellor from morning until evening. We address the seniors of the university, we address the students, we sign some checks and give approvals. Yes. Uh, the 
girl who uh, emerged the overall best and who was crowned the vice chancellor for one day two times is here with some information. May I invite you, Ms. Scholastica Kabodo, vice chancellor only for one day. The principal officers of our university, all the dignitaries, students, staff, our matriculating students, parents, and guardians, I welcome you all to the 11th matriculation ceremony of Gulf Rico University. Last academic year, when I retained the prestigious position of the Vice Chancellor for one day, I was moved by divine inspiration to seek for financial assistance on behalf of some indigent students among us. Actually, we were able to realize an encouraging sum of money, although not sufficient enough to solve some of the problems we have. So I'm here today to present the cash prize to the following students who have been selected from different levels who are currently facing some financial challenges. I know this song wouldn't go a long way in paying most of your fees, but I trust this is a divine seed that has been sown in your lives today by each and every one of us who have donated generously for this cause. I trust the good Lord to multiply this seed and open doors of financial breakthrough for your families and benefactors. Please, as I call your name, kindly come up and collect your package. So matriculating students, you are highly welcome to this Saturday of learning and I advise you to work hard, take your studies seriously and pray always. I believe that God's grace will forever see you through. Finally, I appreciate every student who donated generously from their hearts. I pray God to bless you and grant all your sinless heart desires. I thank the Vice Chancellor, Very Reverend Father Professor Christian Anieke, the Dean of Student Affairs, Reverend Father Ike Chikwani, for the support which, which pushed me through this course. I also appreciate all my roommates for their encouraging assistance during the fundraising event. May the good Lord bless you all and make each day of your life memorable. Thank you so much and God bless you. Mbaya, Deborah, Mbaya, Joyce, are you able to success? The Paul Mary Nicholas, Anya Oninya, Bodo Richard. Uh, Colin Chisholm, Asikog Ebuka, Mutofo Alumba, Ike Victoria, we well, thank you, Bachelor Slap One Day, Kalastika Bodum, thank you for this gesture. This is the spirit of Gulf Coco University. Someone rang me last night and told me about a particular father whose son cried to him about a roommate who couldn't pay his fees. And this man said, I'll pay the fees of your roommate. This is the kind of thing we see here. I'd like my students 
to continue in this generous spirit. Thank you and God bless you.